Well, hello everybody. Welcome. <laughs> this time we're gonna keep it spooky. We're going to draw a Halloween theme artwork. <laughs> I would like to say thank you to my friend Elif for being oh, such a wonderful model. Her carcass will do. Oh, anyways. Let's get to it. So this is Elif, my friend. And I wanted to make something Halloween-y, so let's try to do something scary. But what do we make? What do we make? Hmm, oh, I know. How about a zombie? First, I'm just quickly gonna tell you what I did to do the painting. So you print out a picture of a friend or whomever. Maybe your neighbor, maybe your cat, maybe you Google it doesn't matter again it's all about how they look what is their pose etc so to transfer something like that into a hard paper you just have to either do it by hand or if you want to do it very precise you can divide it into tiny squares and then do those same tiny squares in other paper maybe you want it two times bigger if it's one centimeter here do it two centimeters there or if you want it smaller, instead of 2 centimeters here, you do it 0.5 centimeters. I mean, quick maps! Alright, now let's talk about Halloween. Because it is such a weird but fantastic time of the year. Spooky, spooky skeletons. I think that even though the roots are I think European and very 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 old it's more American nowadays and by American I mean USA I don't mean like you know Latin America maybe a little bit but not really and it, it only became popular because of the media I feel like there's a lot of cool movies I mean in the rest of the world I don't think you even get that day free you have to work on the 31st of October but you do get the next day free at least here in Europe which is where I am for the moment I was actually born in Latin America and there we don't really have celebration for Halloween I think when we dress up is mostly for Carnaval which is around February instead of October so and we also don't have seasons like in Europe or USA um, so it's always warm it's always the same day so nothing special and not only that my family was quite spiritual so Halloween was frowned upon it wasn't necessarily prohibited but it was not something common it was not something that was encouraged so when i went on my own i grew up i was very intrigued and very excited when i became an adult whatever i'll just celebrate halloween i'll just do whatever i want it's all in good spirits anyway i'm not really worshiping the devil or something like that it, it's something more fun it's something more light it's for kids you know it's just a spooky season and uh, I mean, it's a fun time to party, to decorate your house with spooky things, to watch all the horror movies that are very cheesy and very stupid, but that still make you feel good. And little by little, year by year, it has become kind of like this really big part of me um, and the type of celebrations I'd like to do. I think, of course, Christmas will always come first. Christmas is like the best time of the year. Christmas, nobody can top that. No, 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 it's Christmas, Halloween, New Year's Eve, um, other. <laughs> I, no, no, sorry, 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 scrap that. It's my birthday, Christmas, Halloween, New Year's Eve, other. Scrap that, it's Friday night. Saturday and Sunday, Christmas, Halloween, and the rest doesn't matter. Or, okay, it matters a little bit. Whatever, my point is, Halloween is pretty cool. 
you do see Halloween everywhere in the world, maybe not as prominent, but it is there. Like, you know, like when you go to a store, they usually have something Halloween-y going on. And I think in my neighborhood, at least the last couple of years, more and more kids start showing up at the doors asking for candy. I've also been throwing all of these parties where I get to dress up and I love scaring the kids when I open the door. They always scream, they always take pictures with us. It, it's a great time and it's also a good time to invite friends over and to do something different, you know? Not all, you, you don't always have to get together, play table games, sacrifice a cat. You know, sometimes you have to have fun in a different way. So yeah, I think that little by little, but surely, Halloween is becoming more and more popular. It's still not there yet. Of course, my first Halloween rookie mistake, I was a cat. I mean, how basic can you be? Jesus, but that was the easiest one. I didn't have anything, so I kind of made the ears at home. So it was okay. Then the second year, I think I dressed up as a flapper. It was really fun. I stepped it up a little bit. I bought me some face paints and actually became a sugar skull for that one year. I think it was pretty cool. I had a lot of fun. I also carved some pumpkins that time for the first time. It was cool. Then the year after, I became a vampire. <laughs> Fake blood was a discovery, my dudes. And then last year, I was actually a very spooky flapper zombie. I reused the flapper costume, but I added some cool makeup. This year, I'll be something special. It'll be something more macabre. It's a secret. You'll get to see the transformation in the next video, I think. If we get there alive. <laughs>
You forgot your cutlery.